Every year in Scotland, the ambulance service will attend approximately 3,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests. The key to surviving a cardiac arrest is something called the chain of survival. Links within a chain that all have to happen rapidly and in order to ensure the person's best chance of survival. One of the most important links within the chain of survival is early recognition of the problem and calling for help, and then bystander CPR being started as soon as possible by the member of the public. This means that often the best care when it comes to cardiac arrest is delivered by the community. For the last five years in Scotland, we've had a strategy, out of hospital cardiac arrest, a strategy for Scotland. During this time, we've seen 650,000 more people trained in bystander CPR, which has resulted in our bystander CPR rates moving from about just over 40% to nearly 65%. This in turn has seen, means that now around one in 10 people survive to leave hospital, whereas previously in this, at the start of the five year strategy, this was only around one in 20. Building on this previous strategy work, for the next five years, we aim to improve this even further. It is our ambition that we increase the number of people trained to over a million, which will hopefully see us increase bystander CPR rates from 65% to over 85%. We'd also like to increase survival further. We want to see that going from around 10% to 15%. And lastly, we want to increase awareness of public access to fibrillation and access to these defibrillators within the communities all over Scotland. You will often see defibrillators within your communities Many times they're on the sides of shops or on banks. Sometimes they're in phone boxes in small villages. You shouldn't be scared to use a defibrillator. Our call handler, when you phone 999, will often ask you to go and fetch a defibrillator if they know one exists. When you arrive at the patient, switch the defibrillator on, try to remain calm and follow the instructions. You can't do anyone harm with a defibrillator.